it's kind of rehashing all those same subject matters, you know? Um, so yeah, it's tough. It's kind of hard because they would, I think they would have trouble understanding like, well, why, why don't you want to go to dinner every night with me? Or why don't you want to see me every night? I'm just like living life and whatever happens, happens. Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker have been engaged for a while now, and fans are curious about the wedding date. However, there has been recent reports that Travis might not be as faithful as we initially thought, and many fans are now asking, could there be trouble in paradise? Allow me to break it down for you in this video. As you probably already know, the wedding day for Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker is drawing near, and fans are really excited about it. However, they are now concerned that the Blink-182 drummer could be considering going back to his old player ways. The second thoughts began after Travis's autobiography entitled Can I Say resurfaced and one fan noticed one excerpt documenting his wild bachelor party night from his first marriage to Melissa Kennedy in 2001. The fan reshared the portion of the book to Reddit where the drummer wrote, Melissa and I got married that fall at Mission Inn in Riverside. It's a dope spot, a historic building with crazy architecture. Before before Melissa and I got married, I was constantly looking for other girls, picking them up at strip clubs and wherever else I could find them, he confessed. Even on the night of my bachelor party, I wasn't married yet. Once we were husband and wife, I resolved to be good and I stuck to that. But even walking down the aisle, it felt like I was making a mistake, he admitted. Later on, one of Travis's friends, Brent Van, detailed the wild events that took place that evening. The contributor explained how there was twice as many girls as guys and they were scandalous leaving their boyfriends outside to join the party indoors. It didn't take a lot to get Travis drunk. Three or four Coronas, he recalled. Next thing you know, this girl started sucking his dick on the dance floor. So they brought him on stage and said, okay, let the strippers begin and shit started getting crazy. There were 20 strippers on stage doing their thing and Travis was just sitting there smiling, he remembered. Brent continued on to say that the evening got even more insane as every woman in the building wanted to suck Travis's dick. He had the lips of at least 30 to 40 women on his dick two days before his wedding. Travis's friend then recalled the night turned into an orgy with girls getting eaten out on countertops. It was one of the dirtiest, nastiest, most fucking awesome experiences I have ever been a part of, he added. Travis and Melissa divorced less than a year after saying I do and it's obvious why. Fans were not happy about what happened and have since been concerned for Courtney. Kardashian, who is about to be his third wife. They raced to the comments to share their concern over his wild party ways. This entire excerpt just smells of STD, one wrote, while a second ranted. Exactly, it makes no sense and it's a huge red flag. Just don't get married then if you see it as losing your freedom. Chilly, he participated in an orgy a day before his wedding, a third remarked in shock. These people seem to not worry about STDs at all, another mentioned. A fifth said, literally sickening for his fiance. Then women will react to this with devastation and the men will shrug it off. I could never marry a guy who did this at his bachelor party. What a pig, another fan claimed. Ouch. Well, despite Travis's controversial past, plans seem to be in motion for his third wedding. In fact, this week, some fans spotted clues that they would be tying the knot sooner than later. Courtney shared a photo of them sipping margaritas while looking over a panoramic view of the pool and the mountains beyond. The couple also headed out for lunch at Vegan Deli, Chef Tanya's Kitchen nearby. Both Courtney and Travis posted photos of their matching creamy salad bowls on their Instagram stories. The Boosh founder left her three kids back at home for the romantic getaway, with her ex Scott Disick seen taking Mason, Penelope, and Rain to the beach in Miami. The Lovebirds trip came just hours after fans speculated that they will be tying the knot any day now. As if that's not enough, Nav, Courtney's pastor and longtime friend Chad Veach was also spotted at the Rosewood Miramar Beach on Monday where Courtney and Travis got engaged back in October. Chad, who is Courtney's pastor along with his wife Julia, shared a photo of the beach on his Instagram stories. Travis had proposed to Courtney on the same stretch of sand months earlier, surrounded by hundreds of roses and candles. The couple also regularly vacation at the idyllic spot. Additionally, fans spotted that Courtney had got a special manicure on Monday, red nails with Travis's 
initials on them. Another pointed out that a gossip site, Dumois, received a blind item that claimed an A-list couple would be getting married on Tuesday, February 22nd. The post read, This A-list, extremely good-looking couple is tying the knot in an intimate family-only ceremony on 2-22-22. Expect a larger celebration with an expanded guest list later this year, most likely abroad. Fans speculated that these clues all pointed to Courtney and Travis getting married at Rosewood Miramar on Tuesday or later this week. It is just a little bit ironic that Travis and Courtney's pastors casually staying at the Rosewood Miramar where they got engaged in their favorite spot. And Courtney is wearing her nails with Travis Barker's initials on her ring fingers. It's this week, isn't it? One fan wrote. Additionally, sources have claimed Courtney wants to get married on a beach in Montecito where they got married. So them visiting this place is definitely not a coincidence. According to Life and Style, having the whole family be a part of the wedding ceremony is the most important element of the upcoming affair, the insider said. The day will be about their families blending together. The source revealed that Courtney and Travis want to get married as soon as possible, with the mother of three ready to change her plans and modify her expectations than wait any longer. She wants to be his wife, the insider said. They are planning their future and want it to start now. As this will be the first wedding for Courtney, her family has been trying to slow her down a bit in the planning process. They've been reminding the Keeping Up with the Kardashian alum that she deserves to have this moment in life be as special and over the top as she deserves it to be. While one of the aspects of that was going to be making it a destination wedding, the Poosh founder apparently decided to let that idea go due to continued travel restrictions. Wanting as many of her and Travis's friends and family members to be able to make it as possible, they've decided instead to have this ceremony somewhere that has meaning to them. Montecito, the place where they got engaged. The source shared, Courtney is imagining exchanging vows on the beach surrounded by red roses and candles, much like their engagement. She's talking with event planner Mindy Wees and florist Jeff Lethem, who she and Travis have worked with so many times to bring their romantic vision to life. The Blink-182 drummer proposed to the reality star in a romantic gesture on the beach in October, surrounded by roses, candles, and their families. Travis had flowers arranged in the shape of a giant heart set up on the beach with candles flickering all around them. Court and Travis walked hand in hand along the water until they found their way inside the floral arrangement, where he got down on one knee. After the romantic gesture, they dined with their families including the Kardashian matriarch Kris Jenner, Khloe Kardashian, and her now ex Tristan Thompson. Courtney's sister Kylie Jenner shared a glimpse of the dinner table decorated with the same kind of roses used at the beachside proposal. After popping the question and presenting Courtney with the engagement ring, she happily said yes and jumped into Travis's arms for a big kiss. The pair showed just how much they loved that beach when they revisited the spot of their proposal in December, a few weeks after the romantic moment. Courtney and Travis were spotted enjoying a romantic stroll along the beach in Montecito, taking in the sunset by the ocean outside the Rosewood Hotel. The couple wore matching head-to-toe black outfits with Courtney opting for a leather trench coat, chunky boots, and square sunglasses. Travis, meanwhile, kept things casual with his favorite skeleton embroidered jacket over a hooded sweatshirt. The couple looked blissfully happy as they headed down to the water with drinks in their hands. During their trip to the area, Courtney also hinted at the duo's raunchy bedroom antics with a photo of her sexy sheer lingerie that she wore, which featured red handprints over the chest. Now, Courtney's reported desire to be Travis's wife immediately comes as fans have also been speculating that she's pregnant with their first child together. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other video about Travis and Court's engagement for more details on how the proposal went down.